Hey guys, welcome back. Hi. We, we have, have a, a baby. baby. <laughs> now, I know you guys probably have a crazy amount of questions um, in regards to where this beautiful, beautiful little angel came from. Where do babies come from? You know, who knows? Does the stork, stork. bring them? Does Mia? Who Laid knows? Her. Me did Mia. Is this we... part of Mia's egg? Who, Who knows? knows? Um, we call her baby human. Yes. Well, we don't. That's but her name. That's what you will call her. For the internet. For the internet yes. and the world. And to be honest, she was a little bit of a surprise for us. So we're going to basically cover today our last, I guess, nine months. But not focus too much into baby stuff. I mean, this is a channel about birds and the amount of you guys that have been asking, how is Mikey and Mia? Yeah. What did they think? How did they react? Can we see the mm. first initial reaction? How's the noise? How's the mess? How's the absolute <laughs> chaos that you may think would be yeah. having two macaws and a baby, which isn't that terrible, is it? It's. It's manageable. It's manageable. It's definitely Just. manageable. So to kind of briefly recap in a nutshell, I think it was the 2nd of January this year. Mummy Human was late for her monthly things that happen. She was like, this is weird. Had to do the good thing and take and a test. Now, when she took this test, it said it was positive and she was in absolute shock. Mummy Human is not meant to get pregnant. So she bought another, was it three or five? Five, five. tests? Five tests. <laughs> and took them all and they were all positive too. Mm. At that point, she kind of just sat and looked at them thinking, what is going on? So we're not getting into too much detail here, but Mummy Human has some problems. Broken areas. Broken areas. Yes. Areas that have been broken. damaged and broken over beaten. the years. No, um, no, not, no, we mustn't say beaten. <laughs> not beaten. Not beaten. Multiple issues Multiple actually. Beats. And doctors actually said you can never have children. And yes. we were totally fine with that. We didn't want to have children. We used to hang out with people with children and they seemed very tired and they looked exhausted and they seemed stressed and they used to complain. And we liked our not, marriage. Not that we, we think it's lovely for some people, but it just wasn't for us. Yeah, we kind of liked just, our problem free yeah. life, you know? We, we had a nice yeah. clean house to an extent without the birds and we had uh, very, very minimal responsibilities. It was chill, it was nice. But then here comes along this positive test and we literally just freaked out. We didn't mm. know what to do. We, I had a whale. Yeah. Mummy human whaled for we a very long like, time. We were just like, we cannot have this child. There is no way we can mm -hmm. manage this. So we sat down and we made a pros and cons list, which ended up being 73% cons, I believe. Uh, I'm not gonna share that list, but we decided to kind of just focus on the pros. And also we kind of figured if we, you know, brought two macaws in and kind of can manage them, how hard can a baby really be? <laughs> <laughs> As time went on, this baby started growing and we were thinking, do we post this on socials? Do we let the world know that we are having a child? And a lot of you guys were like, why did you keep this so quiet and how did you keep it quiet? Now, the why, basically through the entire pregnancy, there were risks, massive, massive risks all the way up until we gave birth. Every time we went, the doctor said something has gone wrong, something's not happening. The doctors were saying fatal things could happen. She hasn't grown for a month. Fibroid wouldn't let her grow. Ecogenic bowel. There was absolutely crazy Potentially, but it ended up she was absolutely fine after yeah. all this stress. I know. Like the last, I think, two months we were doing weekly checkups. The last thing we wanted to do was get super, super excited and post things on socials and then something terrible happens and you know, then people send you flowers and then the flowers die and it's just not good. How did you guys not know? I mean, a few of you are kind of clever and you're like, mm, I've now gone humans. back on videos and I, I actually challenge you guys, go back on the videos of the last nine months, see if you can spot it. Like we were still uploading daily pretty much <laughs> on our uh, Insta and TikToks and Facebook and the odd YouTube when we can. And we managed to hide that bump without a single person noticing It was noticing a fun a thing. challenge. It was fun. We called it the nine months um, challenge. The very first person we told about this was Mikey. <gasps> Obviously Mikey had to know. You know, he was our first child. And mm. Mummy Human just explained Mikey. to him that, you know, there's a baby coming. And uh, he seemed like he understood. Weirdly enough, he kind of <laughs> seemed like he knew what was going on. A couple of close friends and family knew and basically that was it. Whoever was at Mia's birthday obviously did know what, you were 37 weeks pregnant, I think there. Um, again, 
I think I did a pretty good job editing out that footage. <laughs> but I think our biggest fear with this wasn't about bringing a baby into our lives. It was about bringing a baby into our lives with, with two macaws. <laughs> Not just any two macaws. Mm. Mikey mm. hates babies. He does. Any human smaller than him, yes. he will must, really try and bite. They it's, must go from him. They must. He just yes. doesn't want them around. And we were like, you know, if we just had like two normal macaws, maybe this or would be okay. Mia, she loves or just her. Mia, Mia's yeah. so lovely, Mia's so calm, but Mikey lives here, so what can yes. we do? You know, I think it's one of those things in life where you get thrown a challenge and you you make it work. And we're like, we can do this. We will do we this. We will do this. Okay. So we decided to buy this house, which Whoa. we now own. Yay! We renovated the garden. You have to renovate a garden. You when must you're before a newborn. children arrive. We gardens must be renovated. And we built a beautiful Venetian fence. Honestly, wow, that was it is stunning. it's stunning. Stunning. We love it. Best thing. Baby loves it too. Which baby is the loves most it. important. You know, thing. You, yes. you can't be bringing babies into this world with without Venetian without fences. Venetian fences. I mean, before it Nobody was all would do it was almost grey. It I wasn't know. even wood color. And now it's just... We would just... have been very embarrassed. Yeah. But anyway... And we got married, bought a house, got married, and had a baby in the last couple of months. Crazy, but fun. Now, it was time for the baby to come. It was... It was. Um, well, it wasn't really time. They it had to, wasn't. They had to induce her because yeah. she was very, very small. Anyway, so we had a crazy amount to do. We were still closing on the house. We had, like, two wholesale orders with Trimix that we had to make. And trying to keep up with that uh, with a 37, 38-week pregnant wife. It was not fun for me, but it had it to be fun, done. It wasn't fun, but you know, sometimes you have to do things. Um, we did yes. obviously have some staff helping out, which we was amazing. Did. And I remember the day we went to the hospital because we were literally just finishing I was, off. I was packing yeah. the day we went to hospital. We were making the My Kimia Dry Mix and there for was you, so, we for love you guys, you. yeah. So much had to be made and then it was like three o'clock and we're like, okay, we just have to go now. So we get to the hospital, they look at Manny Human and they say, we are going to you induce are going you to now. Stay. You're going to stay here. We weren't planning for this or anything <laughs> like, like that. Oh. And we're like, okay, cool. Let's, let's make a plan. Um, we did originally have bird care planned for this time. Uh, ended up falling through, no biggie, we ended up getting through it. But to cut a long story short, we basically, how long were we in the hospital? Seven days. <laughs> Seven days in the hospital. Yes. That was waiting for rooms to become available. Four days of contracting. Four days of contracting. I don't push um, that on anybody. No, it wasn't, it was wasn't not fun. Good. I had to sleep in chairs. I'm yes. just sleeping in a chair. I know, poor daddy human. Yeah. Sleeping in chairs aren't fun. Come it, on. We felt very sorry for him. <laughs> it was exhausting and we had a question come through on the Instagram who was looking after the birds through this entire time and I think I did I think what 16 trips back and forth from the hospital home. Every morning if I was staying there or if I'd stay here they'd still have their morning routine, they'd still have their evening routine and we would still do everything. They'd still be outside in the garden doing their recall having their food, I'd still be making the chop, everything was as per normal for them. A little bit more midday Avery time, but since this happened so last minute, it was literally a lot of back and forth, and we made it work. That's the thing. We did. The birds were happy, they were chill, until the day Mummy Human actually gave birth. Now, a lot of you guys know we took the net down. Yep, it's gone. You know, when we redid the fence, we had to take it down, and then when we put the fence up, we were planning to put it back up. That's what the big posts are in the back. We wanted to redo it, redo it really tidy, redo it really nice, but once, <laughs> it looks so good without the net. It just looks so nice without it. <laughs> and the birds love flying around. And so they do, and they're a little bit quieter do. as well because yeah. they do have the freedom. They're not kind of confined to that area. Mm -hmm. We just kind of looked at it and we're like, this is fine. And after a couple of days, the birds were just, you know, back and forth over roofs and fences, and they just seemed so chill and so happy. When Mummy Human was in hospital, I was back here, I just let the birds out, they'd fly around and then they'd come back and I'd go back to the hospital. So basically, <laughs> the day she went into labor, uh, the birds wanted to sit on a roof a little bit longer than I wanted them to. Of course, this happened of course, on this, this one, one day. day. These guys haven't slept outside all year long. <laughs> uh, it's been a while, actually. Last year, I think yeah. Mikey, once, it's been but so long and they awkward. both decided not to come in that night. So I was like, you know what, guys, I got better things to do. You enjoy your sleep. I have to roof. have a baby. I gotta go have a baby. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, but the thing is, I know they're gonna be fine. The area we live in is very, very, very safe. The people around are really great. Birds of prey around us aren't really a risk to them, which is amazing. 
and they are birds in the end of the day. You know, they're meant to be outside. So they basically camped out on the roof that night. And, and it was um, warm. Yeah, it was chill. It was a warm day. To we had our uh, friend Alina and our friend Rebecca come at yeah. like 6 a.m. in the morning I uh, just to call them down. I can't believe you guys did that. Thank you so yeah, much. Really appreciate that, guys. Big shout out. And just after 2 o'clock in the morning, oh, she nice. was born. Oh, and been... she came out and then it was like, all right, we have this baby. Yeah. She's going to come live with us now. We are in charge of a small human We now. have a human to care for now. Yes. This is going to be fun. After another day in the hospital, it was basically time, time to, to go, go home. home. We got her out after seven lovely days. And we were so excited to introduce baby to birds. We were just thinking, how is my Kimia going to take this? So we basically get home, we get the birds out, and then we bring them down. We were so excited. We were yeah. like, oh, they're going to be... They're going to love it <laughs> or hate it. I or was, who, yeah. knows. who knows? Um, they ended up just Hating being us. terrified. Like, what is this in our yes. home? Uh, they had no violent um, tendencies. They, they just... just really scared. They Yeah, they kind of just looked at her and... Poor Mikey. Ran <laughs> away. Fell. Yeah. <laughs> so fast. So fast, he ran um, straight back to the oh, nest. This is back into their nesting as well. Like they stopped nesting and then they started going back up. They and we... go into nest mode when there's people in the house that they don't like or they're trying to protect yeah. from. It's like an instinct they have just to go up to the bathroom. I mean, when... this was what seven, six, seven weeks ago, seven weeks ago or yeah. something. So you yeah. know, it's they're a lot more. They they haven't entered that nest in a long time. But through that last few weeks of pregnancy and the first few weeks of uh, baby human being here. They were basically still dabbling in the nest a little bit. Even the next day, I remember holding baby human and we were just trying to introduce the birds. Now Mia was a lot more like, hey, I'll, I'll come say hi, I'll check girl. this out. We tried to kind of be like, hey Mikey, look, here's baby human. And he just didn't want to have a bar of her at all. Uh, he basically almost, no, he did run away, didn't he? He did, yeah, he, he ran. He just completely ran away. Mia, it's when she cries, he yeah. runs faster. And yeah. He's like, Ugh! and every every time every time she cried, he would just run yeah. and run and run. Mia, on the other hand, mm. uh, she was a lot more. She was very fascinated. Yeah, fascinated, intrigued, yes. just kind of wondering what is this? What is that, and why is tiny, it drinking from mummy human's yeah. body? Um, now we never actually wanted to push the birds to kind of you know know her or anything. So she'd just be around doing her <laughs> day to day things, and the birds would do their things. Now the good thing about our birds is they are extremely independent. You know, they love each other, they want each other. They're not gonna miss too many colors no. <laughs> from us because they don't really care too which much. Which is really in our favor, anyway. yeah. having a child. They haven't been dependent on us for quite a while now, which is yeah. actually really nice. But we just did our daily things. You know, we'd hang out outside if the weather was nice and she'd just be there and the birds would be there just doing their thing, which is really, really cool. But the majority of it was just doing normal things. Like the birds would still have their normal routine. Um, throughout their nesting kind of area, they'd come into our room and kind of hang out. And they'd just be around just being the birds. Out, and just doing they new kind baby of, things. They kind of just ignored her unless yeah. she was crying and then they'd observe. When they started watching the breastfeeding, now this was really, <laughs> really, really funny to watch. The first time they were just yeah. like, what is going on here? They didn't even yeah. want to get close. They I think they so just stood outside the bedroom out door the thinking, thing what is this <laughs> tiny little thing that kind of looks like a monkey to them probably like oh, that I... hair to hair like what is it doing uh just sucking Sorry. on mummy human's body <laughs> crazy as time went on mia definitely got more used to it she was a lot more intrigued mm. and she wanted to hang out a bit more but they did take a while to really understand it now they honestly don't even care but the first few days or maybe the first week they would just stare just and confused. stare like from a distance. Like we betrayed them with yeah. this baby and like, the feeding. Like what is going was... on? Yeah. <laughs> but the first week was pretty much just, you know, everyone kind of getting used to each other and it was good. <laughs> the good thing about the birds, because we didn't have a net, they literally just could do whatever they wanted. So, you know, we weren't not flying because they could fly every single morning uh, mm. from the window. So pretty much every morning they were out the window. Luckily our neighbors love yeah. them. They are very, very nice. Most so of them are nice. So we try to not them. abuse that freedom that yeah. we have given them. And we, we they're, they're outside for a limited... About an hour or two. Yeah, Maybe at max. Um, and they're they're pretty good. They're, yeah. they're kind of respectful and they just fly around the neighborhood. They roof hop and roof hop. 
And that's good because they're actually getting their energy out because a lot of you guys have actually asked a lot about the noise. Like, mm. are they loud? Are they going to affect baby humans' sleeping patterns um, or anything like ears. that? Now, the sleeping for her is absolutely perfect with any kind of noises these guys make. Now, the thing she is though- She does not care. <laughs> we are, the, she, she's heard it in the womb the entire time, so. She doesn't even flinch. Yeah, it's amazing. It's um, great. The <laughs> one thing though, we don't let them, and not that we can really control it, but we can kind of see when a screen's coming and we don't want it to be around her because it is extremely loud Especially and extremely inside. deafening. To save her ears, we are a lot more observant on actually keeping them content in what they want. Like, we know Mikey screams if he wants something. We kind of know sometimes, 90% of the time, what he wants. You know, he's been in our lives seven years now. Yeah. So, <laughs> we know when a scream's coming to an extent. There has been a couple of slip-ups where he has screamed, but if he does, he usually either wants to go outside, or wants to train, or wants some nuts, or, you know, something like that. Or that noise that he just made. Yeah, that That's noise right there. Scream. If we ignore it's this a for a long thing. time, a scream is gonna come. Yeah. Nobody wants to scream. But, you know, if, if they ask them to go outside, it's not a big deal anymore. We can just literally open the doors and just let them fly. And they literally will do what they want. It's not us saying, you have to fly anymore. You have to do this. You have to do loops. You have to go get the treats. It's like, if you guys want to fly, you go fly. If you want to sit on roofs for an hour, you can sit on roofs for an hour. It is completely up to you. Usually once they're flying around, Mia will end up coming back and landing on the car out to the front of the house if it's the middle of the day, That's which is really, really cool. That's where she decides she yeah. wants to come She's in. She's like, I want to come in now. But now it's kind of at a point where they literally just ignore her. It's absolutely perfect. They do their <laughs> thing, we do our thing, like we'll be in bed. They've accepted her now, it's yeah. just something that's just here something that's not that's going here. away. It's not a threat. Yeah. First they definitely thought she was a threat. They were like, sussing um, her out, like what are you? Is this like a small dog that's just going to attack us when we're not looking? I, I honestly, that's how, because the yeah. way Mikey reacted was as if she there was... There's a dog here yeah, with a, no hands. Yeah, a very, very yes. small dog. <laughs> but now they just kind of look at her like, you're just a lamp. Yeah. Just you, they don't mind you her. sit there, you be a lamp. <laughs> Um, which is, that was yeah. our biggest worry yeah. and the absolute, Just having Mikey be aggressive was yeah. the biggest concern of the, her fingers and toes. The relief we had Ooh. was just crazy. Yeah. We had a very, very near scare when I was holding her once and Mikey was on my shoulder and she was just waving her arms. Now, Mikey, when he tries to look intimidating, he does this like attempt to bite, but he, he never bites. He goes, up and he goes, and he goes yeah. But he never actually bites. He does it to all the birds that come yeah. around. And he did that for her once and nicked her little finger. And oh we gosh. were just like, what? My heart. Yeah, our hearts literally dropped at that second. But nothing happened. Nothing literally happened. nothing. Um, which it was, was just more of like, I'm trying to scare you, but, but I don't want to hurt the you. The wake up call for <laughs> us, just then and there, we're like, okay, good. That's never happening yeah. again. You never. know, just in case, Birds you know, will these not fingers. Go on the shoulders, yeah, they're, they're very, very small. People say, I think, having a baby is going to just completely flip your life upside down and you're gonna need help from everyone and friends and family. It's gonna be a whole different set of lifestyle. I mean, for me, so much. It hasn't changed too much. I mean, she's here. She's adorable. She's cool. She's I love her. very cool. And she's a part of this life. Mommy Human, obviously, she's getting the life sucked out of her right now. It is oh. exhausting, isn't it? It is tiring, um, but it's also beautiful to watch her yeah. grow. I, I love her. <laughs> I think the fact yeah. we, we try and tackle things as a team yeah. um, is really, really good as well. We thought, yeah. could we do this 50-50 when we started? And it turns out there's you literally can't. no way I can help as much. Um, she literally just needs mummy human now oh. and will do for See, a while. See, this is us anticipating screams from Mikey. Oh uh, yeah. Like, this, this, is, this is stopping the screams. But we're trying to basically keep our standard life routine. And don't get me wrong, this isn't easy. There is For me, it's the lack of sleep. The lack of sleep is nothing can prepare you for that. Yeah. And that for me was like... I get to sleep. Oh my gosh, <laughs> please sleep. But <laughs> That's been challenging, but that's the only time. Like, I think she's so awesome to watch and I love her. Like I love watching her grow and it's, it's, she smiled yeah. yesterday, which it's, was awesome. It's not as hard as we thought. Yeah. You know, you see people and you hear the stories and people kind of We have been very lucky. She is a good sleeper. Yeah, she's, she's a very I've, good baby. Don't get me wrong, there's been a couple of days where we've literally had, what have we done to our beautiful, relaxing lives? Like we had <laughs> such, Chill when these lives. noises start, we're like, oh, oh no. no. But also, 
I think these birds have prepped us so well. The bird screams are far worse. But in general, they're a whole lot more independent, which is nice. For now, anyway. Mm. She'll learn to be more independent than the birds. Yeah. But juggling them both hasn't been as hard as we expected at all, which is really, really, really nice. It's not, but I thought it would be absolute hell with the birds. Just having a new baby is hard, but with birds, I we were really scared. But actually, it's yeah, been it's been it's just been. Don't want to jinx it, but it's like been normal. really good. I think yeah. the birds have been really good too for some Thank reason. You. I don't know. I think it's because it is coming into winter and they calm yeah, down a lot. Yeah, and there's they less light, which there's makes less them light. Calm. Yeah, it's crazy how you just learn things, though. Like Mummy Human mm. has learned to literally juggle things so well. Oh, she yes. can carry two birds, carry a baby, walk around the house, all is well. Just like she's been you doing it for years. Just learn these things you when just, you have baby birds. Yeah, literally bre birds. <laughs> breastfeeding and walking and carrying birds. It's just one of those things, which another another skill for the CV, I guess. It is. I've taken on a few more of the duties. Mummy Human and I used to share making the chop every day. Um, yes. I've taken that sole role. Um, unless it's Mummy Sunday. Human does the chop on some days Sun when Daddy Sundays, Human is a bit or Sunday, hungover. Or some days. We're still taking them out for flies and stuff like that. We don't just want to throw them out. And Mikey loves day. the buggy, as you Mikey guys see. Mikey loves <laughs> the buggy. Mikey on a buggy, I'm sure you guys have seen in the shorts. That's what made him accept thing. baby, is the fact that we have okay. a buggy. And we're still having people around. We've had, you know, a couple of little bird days. Not doing massive, massive ones, but you know, we've had friends over. They brought birds, they brought their kids. We have our kid, we're like family people We're family now. people now, it's you weird. see. We never wanted to be family people. We did not. Look but at us. Here we are. Here we are. No. Honestly, I thank <laughs> these birds so much. Yeah, they've completely prepared us. They have taught us so much. They've taught us how to share yeah. responsibilities, what it's like to care for another life. Like similar emotions we've had with the birds. Like sometimes we used to just watch Mikey sleep at mm. night on the camera. We do that with her. Yeah. Sometimes we, you know, if Mikey learned something new, we'd be like, oh my God, Mikey. Yeah. I remember the first. Way. The very first when time they free purple. fall. Yeah, when they learn stuff, you get so excited. Yeah, and really I think awesome. we're now reliving yeah. these emotions again with her, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I think we treated our birds kind of like kids. But Mummy Human basically looks after, but maybe human majority of the time, if I'm doing work through the day or packing dry mix or anything like that. Unless I do it's have. Wednesday yeah, unless it's Wednesdays. Yeah, so Wednesdays are kind of my day. So me and her hang out. Yeah. We'll just kind of sit around and I'll sing to her and. <laughs> Kill the radio star. <laughs> Talk to her and there's not a lot you can do like I don't want to say this because it sounds a bit mean but No, I'm, but you're just being honest. But sometimes I'm like yeah. this is this is slightly boring. Like you just kind of just sit there. <laughs> I'm like when where where are the rewards? I know. Like her. This is a lot of work. It is. We don't do these things for rewards, but we no. also want the rewards of but a child. They, yeah. <laughs> no. No, but everyone say everyone says children are the most rewarding yeah. thing in the world, and I'm like, you're cool, and we love you, but you're also a crazy amount she of is work, cool, though. and she we're is. we're a little bit tired. Can we have some rewards now? <laughs> no, we don't want the rewards. Keep, no. Keep your rewards. We're we don't have Mikey and Mia for rewards. The rewards I get from them is the fact that the cages they were in before are no longer in existence and the people they yes. were with before, they no longer have to be with them. Um, yeah. They're with us now and they can The problem be is happy this child free. wasn't anywhere Yeah, this child was wasn't anywhere. So this child's, this so child's just with her, Daddy with Human now. can't bond uh, with I, it. So I'll put it somewhere that you can save it from and then you might bond. <laughs> and sometimes in the morning, uh, Mummy Human will go for a walk with Baby Human because she, she loves her morning walk. She falls asleep instantly in the stroller, which is always yeah. a plus. And she takes the birds as well, which is great. So. The birds get some exercise again. Desensitization to her. It's all worked out way it's kind of naturally. Just better worked. Yeah. than we ever thought. I mean, yeah. there has been the day or two or three, and we've just been like, "This is nuts." And one thing, like our biggest fear, was us kind of losing what we have together. You yeah. see a lot of couples, and the stats of people who do break up in the first couple of years of having a baby are huge. And after nine years of being together, I think we kind of know each other's thresholds on, what you know, when times get tough, you know, yeah, we kind of know what yeah. we can handle. But it's one of those things where I, we kind of miss each other, I think, because yeah. she's glued to Mummy Human or me, and we don't actually have that much time with each other as we used yeah. to. I know that this is temporary and that will come yeah. back, but that's, that's one of my things, thing. which is kind of like, oh. I She's just kind stolen of wanna, me away yeah, and you want me back I want because you, back. you love me. But yeah, I think that's kind of like a recap on the last couple of months of our lives. It's yeah. been a whirlwind. It's been full on, it's been crazy, yes. it's been fun. 
we're gonna keep you guys updated on if it yeah. is easier to have two macaws or yes. a baby. Mm. So far the macaws are easier, but yes. I think <laughs> I think in time. Everyone said, oh, the kid will be so much easier than the birds. Look at these toes. They're so cool. What I think I love most about the life we have, like a lot of people in our situation with two birds or people have told us or we've seen people, they're like, once you bring that bird in, so, once you bring that baby in, that baby yeah. comes first. I keep saying bird. Um, I know, same. I said bird so much today. I was like, she's such a good bird. I mean, human. <laughs> Once you bring that baby baby in, those birds need to come second. You know, cage time is a big thing for them. Make sure you just feed them and water them and put them away and focus on her. And I'm so, so glad we haven't had to do that. The yeah. birds have had... I didn't want to just shove no. the birds away because I feel like... They'd resent her more if we did yeah. that. And, and the thing is, the birds it's have so had... difficult the, the decisions you have to make as a parent. The birds <laughs> have actually had more freedom yeah. than they had before, which is crazy because we have, you know, them outside. This has actually worked out so much better than we imagined. And I've always had a motto in life, you know, expect the worst, and you'll go through life being relatively happy because only better things can happen. Also, we never would actually leave her alone in a room with the yes. birds, um, just because you never know what's gonna happen. These birds are extremely unpredictable. Also, just for the dust factor from when they're flying. Yeah. You know, we, we have to be careful of her lungs. Yeah, we clean a lot more now. Oh, a lot yes. more. Um, Three times a day. Air purifiers. Air purifiers. Constantly running. Um, and the good thing is where they preen, she's not around. So yeah. usually the birds preen majority of the time in their aviary or uh, kind of around this On area perch, or so we'll outside. Sit, we'll yeah. sit the furthest away and then hoover, constant yeah. hoovering there's dust. A, there's a lot of cleaning now. There because is. Because you have to look out for yeah, we've a got whole to be other careful, person's so lungs. It's not just about our lungs anymore. Like who cares about our lungs? It's yes. her lungs now we yeah. have to care for. But the thing is we... We'll always make sure the birds are still getting their time. So if yeah. I'm holding baby human, then Mia the will sweets. get yeah. cuddles from mommy human kind of thing. Yeah. Or if I'll always do my best to cuddle them. You know, they don't really mm -hmm. want to be cuddled too much. They're, they're not, you know, fed the children of any sort like that. They're happy just kind of being birds, which is nice. Also, another funny question. Everyone's like, yay, you finally have someone to take my Mia when you no. die. Now, here's the thing, right? Like, we've chosen this life with the birds and it's been fun. We've made a lot of friends, kind of made a life out of it, a business out of it. They're okay. They're not too bad. Now, you know, we've, we've put a lot of work into this. If we didn't, you know, they're just those noisy, messy, destructive, overly expensive, aggressive birds that no one wants that gets rehomed all the time. But would I want to force my daughter to get into this life? Probably, Probably not. No, I'd want her to live if her own life. If she wants to, amazing. Yeah, if she wants to, great. We don't want her to feel any she, yeah. pressure that She's, she has to take them on or... Yeah, definitely not. I mean, um, she may love them and it will be lovely, but I, we're gonna just leave this to her to decide. Hmm. But um, I think we'll wrap it up there, guys. Thanks so much. We'll be posting more videos. Again, we're not gonna keep this channel baby focused. Trust me, this is the one and only baby video that is gonna be baby focused. Straight back to general programming with birds. I remember the very first photo or video we posted on Insta or Facebook, someone's like, oh no, they're gonna turn into a baby channel. And I don't think we have no, posted we... much baby content at all. No. And I like that, you know? Yeah. This is something for us. These birds are for you. With that in <laughs> mind, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for stopping and... in, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe Look at button. you go. Yes, Woo! that's right. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye.